What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your motorcycle chain on your Kawasaki Vulcan 650. Now, the difference between my video and all the other videos out here on YouTube and social media is I am not using a cleaning kit. I'm using stuff that you can buy at your local hardware stores, whether it's AutoZone, Walmart, O'Reilly's, any place like that and you can clean your chain in about 30 minutes. The first thing you have to do is get the rear tire up in the air, that way your chain and wheel is free spinning. So whether you have two jack stands, a jack, a motorcycle jack, whatever you need to use to get it up in the air, that's the first step. After that, I'm gonna take off my sprocket cover. This is pretty standard with any motorcycle. I highly recommend it just because so much dirt and grime buildup gets stuck up in there. Mine is just an eight millimeter socket. I'm using a quarter inch ratchet with a short extension. And I'm gonna get that off. So outside of your standard tools of getting the motorcycle in the air and taking parts off, there's a few things you're gonna need and it's gonna cost you about 30, 40 bucks. First is brake cleaner, which is what we're gonna to use to break down and clean the chain. A toothbrush, that right there is gonna be used for scrubbing. Our rag and then our chain lube. I like Lucas's oil chain lube. It works really great. You don't need a whole lot of it and it coats it and soaks in for a while. So one thing I forgot to mention that I didn't do in this video that I always do, this is the first time I haven't done it, but usually I take a cup, I spray some brake cleaner in it, and as I'm scrubbing the sprockets, the chain, and all the grease and contamination, I take my brush, stick it in my cup, and clean it out. That way I'm not moving contamination over and over. But I was doing this late at night, I was trying to shoot a video and get this thing cleaned and adjusted for the ride the next day. So I wasn't too worried about it, but I highly recommend having a cup, that way you can rinse it out. Right here you can see I just use brake cleaner and, and shoot it. I don't recommend that, I recommend using a cup. But as you guys can see here, after we do the front sprocket, the cover and the housing, we start moving to the chain, we do a section at a time, go all the way around the chain, and right here you can see I put a little piece of tape to kind of just show you guys the process even though I sped it up. But after we get the chain all the way around, we're gonna move to the rear sprocket. If you guys look at the very top of my sprocket where my chain meets it, you can see the grease and grime buildup, and you can also see kind of grease spackles on the actual sprocket itself. So we're gonna go through, clean it tooth by tooth. This goes pretty quick. After we clean all the teeth, we're gonna wipe down the surface, make sure the front face and the inner face is clean. Now for the chain lube, I like to put a piece of cardboard on the inside and a rag on the bottom side. That way I'm not getting chain loop all over my motorcycle or the ground but look guys i am not a professional i film these youtube videos because i enjoy it not everything i say is correct i know i put way too much loop on my chain i don't need anyone telling me this okay what i do is lube the piss out of it because i don't know how to spray it without getting too much on there and i haven't found one that doesn't shoot as much then i just take a rag and wipe it off so don't comment down below that i use too much lube because i know that i do and outside of this in different places of life, I've never heard the term, you're using too much lube. So just keep that in mind. But now we have a nice clean chain, front sprocket and rear sprocket. Now I will be buying a chain cleaning kit on my next service. When I first bought this motorcycle, I was just too impatient. I was riding the hell out of it. So I just went to my local hardware store and bought everything I needed. But now I'm actually out of chain lube and brake cleaner for the motorcycle. So I'm going to order the, I believe it's the Motul or Motul. I don't know, correct me. However, you, I guess you can't tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. But anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. I will link it down below. My next service, I will actually get that chain cleaning kit and show you guys how to use that one. This is just if you're like me and you bought the motorcycle, you need to clean lube and adjust it and you don't have time to wait on a kit, you can go to your local hardware store and pick it up. Now I have read that you should lube and adjust your chain every 500 to 600 miles and i'm going to say i agree with this because within five to six hundred miles my chain does need adjusting and it does need cleaning but i also drive this thing like crazy i haven't even had it i think four months now and i've already put 2400 miles on it i do love this bike and i just want to kind of get, give you guys a quick video on how to clean your chain without a motorcycle chain cleaning kit because i know a lot of people either don't have the time or money to go buy it and this is just another way to do it so thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. Check out the channel for more daily content. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one.